Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Welcome to Rick's Corner. The man, the myth, the legend. Now on with the show. <laughs> I'm kidding. Welcome to Rick's Corner. I just asked my daughter if she'd come in and sit on the show, but she says, no, not now. But I wanted to tell you guys, I've been bringing up these photos of, uh, videos of these 50s bodybuilders on TV shows. And since I've been doing them, people keep sending me more, which I'm thrilled about because I asked what happened to the one with Reg Lewis and Groucho Marx and somebody have sent it to me. I thought it was very nice of them. Reg is a friend of mine. I still see him around town quite a bit. We had done the movie Sex Debt together and uh, we've been friends a long time. He was on my show about four years ago. He was a top-notch bodybuilder, Mr. Universe and Mr. America, and one of the best bodies around, did the covers of all the magazines. He did most of his training at home. Uh, with weights in his in his living room and built this tremendous body. I think he went to Vince's for a while, but most of his stuff he told me he had done at home. He's still a trainer today. He's probably, I don't know, close to about 80 maybe. Um, gained some weight, but still around. And he's got a son, Reg Jr., who I know. But he had done uh, a movie called uh, Don't Make Waves with Tony Curtis and Dave Draper. And um, I think the girl's name, I can't think of her name that was in it. She was killed in the Manson murders way back. Uh, it was a tr pretty tragic thing, but uh, Reg was in the movie and there's a picture of the three of them posing. Uh, I think he was with Chet Yorton in that pose with Dave Draper. So he's done a lot of stuff and I got this Groucho Mark show that he was on with his wife at the time and he looked really good. And this is before drugs, as we said, back in those days they didn't have them. But I think you'll enjoy it. I'm going to put it up right now and take a look at this show. It's, it's, it's fun. The, the uh, game show was one of the most popular in the world. So one of you guys say that was stupid questions at the end. Yes, they were. But they were meant to be stupid. It was just to have somebody on for publicity. They had Joan Rivers on and Dom DeLuise and people who are celebrities over the years, Jack LaLanne, just to get them seen on TV. So, and Groucho Marx was one of the Marx Brothers, the biggest comedy teams back in the 30s and 40s. So that's why it is what it is, but it's fun. Take a look. <laughs> Uh, what's on the agenda? June and Reginald Lewis are standing by to talk to you. So why don't you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. <laughs> Welcome to your betcha life. Say the secret word and take home an extra hundred smackolas. Well, how do you, uh, well, how do, you do? Huh? June and Reginald Lewis, huh? Is that right? Yes. Mr. Lewis, before we go any further, you'd better clarify something for me. Is this your sister or your wife? This is my wife, Groucho. I see. Well, just checking. You know the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of bandages and adhesive tape. <laughs> now, how long have you been married? Two and a half years, Groucho. Why are you holding on to each other? Are you afraid if you let go, you'll kill each other? I need him. <laughs> oh. Now, June, let me ask you a rather personal question. I hope you don't mind. Not at all. Uh, why did you marry this big lug here? Huh? <laughs> Reginald is his name? Uh, because my father wanted me to marry a man who is handsome and well-built. Is your not... father disappointed in this broken-down specimen that you finally hooked? He's not uh, broken down, Groucho. Excuse he's, me? No, he's the handsomest and most well-built man in the world. <laughs> Reginald has the best built in the whole world? <laughs> June, what proof do you have that Reginald has the best built in the world? Have you personally gone around investigating the re rest of the entries? No, he won the Mr. Universe contest in 1957. Oh, mm -hmm. well, congratulations, Reginald. <laughs> Could you show us a bicep or two? I'd be glad. Hey, take your shirt off and let's yeah. see the chest that shook the world. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin, huh? He doesn't have any muscles until he takes his jacket off. And I don't have any muscles until I put my jacket on. That's really a hope chest you got there. Now, let's see you flex a couple of yards of the Swift Packing Company. How do you like it, you frustrated wives out there? 
What are your dimensions, uh, Skinny? I have a 50 inch chest, a 30 waist, 18 arms, 25 thighs, and 17 inch calves. You have a 50 inch chest? That's right. Is that blown up or without the wind? Uh, that's relaxed, Groucho. Relax. June, I'm pretty sick of him. What are, what are your dimensions? Uh, 39, 21 and a half, 35. It's odd, isn't it? His dimensions are twice as large, but for some curious reason that I can't explain at these prices, I'd much rather look at hers. <laughs> now, Reginald, imagine calling this big boxcar Reginald. <laughs> Have you always been built like this? Uh, no, I wasn't. I was, uh, when I was 15, I was quite puny and weak, and I had very little muscle, just like you, Groucho. <laughs> You know, normally after a crack like that, I'd strike back. <laughs> but in this case, discretion is the better part of valor. <laughs> now, Junie, do you still maintain that Reggie has the most beautiful male build in the world? Of course, Groucho. Well, if anybody in the audience wants to challenge us, why, uh, get in touch with us. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I mean it. Maybe next week we can have a man on the show with even larger muscles. <laughs> okay, Reggie, put your shirt on, which I find it rather distracting. <laughs> Now, uh, let's play You Bet Your Life. Okay, George. Now, this box contains three sets of questions. 100 easiest, 200 harder, 300 hardest. Now, your job is to earn at least $500 with four questions. If you do, you'll uh, get a chance at $10,000 at the end of the show. Did you see his shape? Yes, oh, yes. What'd you think of it? That's amazing. Well, how'd you like hers? <laughs> it's amazing, too. <laughs> Well, uh, what category did they select? Uh, food and cooking. Food right? and cooking, huh? Yes. Uh, That's right, isn't it? Yes. Now, you know how to play this game, huh? Okay. Pick a question. Hundred dollar question? Yes. For one hundred dollars, uh, what do you call toasted cubes of bread served with soup? French toast. No! You keep your big mouth shut. I may take a sock at you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's crouton. Crouton. Don't get rid of it. Get rid of that lug. He doesn't know it. Okay. You have a hundred dollars now. You're on your way to five. Uh, why don't you use another one? Two hundred? Yeah. Okay. Remember, the idea is to get five hundred. Uh, for two hundred dollars, what kind of sauce is saved on Eggs Benedict? Tartar sauce? No, it's hollandaise. Oh. Well, you still have your hundred dollars. When are the hollandaise? That's in, around the Christmas, huh? All right, now you... And you have two more chances yeah. to get 500. You have 100 now. I think that whispering in his ear distracts him. Oh. <laughs> Another two. You're not paying any attention to what I say at all. <laughs> Genuine caviar is the eggs of what fish? Now talk it over. They're not trying to answer, they're just making uh, love up there. That's salmon eggs. What is it? No, I'm sorry, it's staging. Well, it's going to well, be pretty tough to make 500, but yes, you have another yes, chance here. Uh, How much have they got, George? 100. 100. You well, you can get 400, you can't get five anymore, unless you have a counterfeiting machine in your cellar. <laughs> okay. This is what, 300? Uh, $300. Right? Oh, that's right, you're a gambler, anyhow. For $300. What do you call vegetables cut in match-like strips? <laughs> She's nuts about them. Huh? Uh, slob? Slobs? No, slob. there's, there's no slobs up here, no. It's julienne. Well, you've won $100, so you're $400 short of getting five. But you're a very attractive couple, and I'm sorry you didn't win more. But maybe we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. If we can find somebody who thinks he has better muscles than you do. So, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you, Josh. Bye-bye. There you have it. That's uh, Groucho Marx, and that's his show, uh, which I watched for years and didn't realize that all these guys later in life, I'd get to know them and see them in the gyms, but here they are, <laughs> you know, in real life. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to have more coming. I found one with Jack LaLanne. I don't think he poses in it. I think he's got a suit on the whole time, but I'll put it up anyway. And I'm finding more footage on Steve Reeves back in the day before he... He used to dub his voice because his voice wasn't really good for camera, but I found the film he did where his voice wasn't dubbed. And I'm going to put that up one of these days as well. I have so many interviews that I have now back in my vault that I've done in the past few weeks. I'm going to let them out a little at a time. And we'll see you next time on Rick's Corner. So stay tuned for more. 
Hope you enjoy the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Drayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.